welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren. If you're new here, we're back with kind of another meal prep video, sort of. Um, Hachi. Excuse you. I was gonna try to go to Trader Joe's on my lunch break today, and it had a line out the door, so I couldn't go. Then I went to my local, like normal grocery store after work. Huge line out the door because they're counting how many people can go in the stores at a time. It's 85 degrees outside today here in South Texas. I'm not waiting in line in jeans in a long sleeve shirt after I went to work all day. So I was like, maybe Target. And luckily, yes, Target had a lot of stuff. It didn't really go with touch. Thank you. Didn't really go with my original plan, but I got plenty. They had plenty. I just had to adjust um, and be flexible with what I had originally planned. So let's just jump right into the haul. So I think for lunch, I'm going to have, um, like adult lunchable style thing. So just like crackers and meat and cheese and vegetables. I had planned a chicken salad, but they didn't have any chicken except for the one that I got. Um, and it didn't occur to me that I could use that for chicken salad until after I left and I didn't get any of the other things that I need for that recipe. Anyways, we're doing adult Lunchables, super simple, love them. So I picked up some pita crackers for that. I got just some salsa. I know I have chips here at home, needed some salsa. Uh, these were, other than the Rayos brand, they were the same price. These were the only pasta sauces that they had. So I wanted to try this one just because they sounded so good. So I got a marinara and a vodka sauce. I have some meatballs that are frozen in the freezer, obviously. So I want to eat those this week with one of these and then maybe the other one for something else at some point. I don't know. Okay, so moving on. So this is more like produce. I got some green spinach for smoothies and then also for, I think, dinner tonight. I got some mango spears. They didn't have any like regular mango that you could peel yourself. Um, and this was expensive, $5.99. But I really wanted it for this yogurt with granola. That is my new obsession. Siggy's yogurt, mango, and granola. It is like so good. So I shelled out $6 for that. I picked up some mushrooms for a stir fry. They didn't have any frozen vegetables. I was hoping to just pick up like one frozen bag of vegetables for a stir fry. No, they didn't have any. So I just got fresh, which is fine. I got some sugar snap peas. Thought that would be good in the stir fry. I got some carrot chips. So they're like the circle ones. The circle cut uh, for the Lunchables. Trying to stay on topic here. Okay, I picked up some Siggy's yogurt. They didn't have my favorite. So I picked up three vanilla, I think. Yes. Three vanilla Siggy's yogurts. Obsessed with these. I love them so much. They are so good. It is amazing with granola. The vanilla with the mango and the safe and fair, the kettle one. I can't remember what it's called. Granola. Oh my God. The best. Um, and I also picked up two mixed berry. That's my second favorite. For the Lunchable, I picked up some salami, just the Applegate brand. I also picked up some turkey, again, the Applegate brand. They didn't have any blocked cheese, so I had to pick up like a tray of cheese. This has sharp cheddar, Colby, Havarti, and uh, Gouda. So a good little array. I'll probably do like, I don't know, half of a slice of each or something like that. We'll see. So I got that. Um... I did pick up some bananas. You can have that for a snack or throw in a smoothie. Have it for dessert with some almond butter. I got three zucchini. That's gonna be for stir fry for another dinner. And I also picked up a red uh, bell pepper, which is also for stir fry. While I'm on the topic of these bags, I'm having a memory of last week's meal prep. Okay, you guys, of course these were here and not with me in the car. I need to put them in my purse so I can remember to keep them. I have these drawstring bags that I got in an exchange with a sweet girl named Kelly through like a share the love thing with Weight Watchers that I did a while ago. And I realize now that you take these to the store, duh. I don't know why I didn't think that that was, I don't know what I thought I thought these were for. It said produce bags. I just didn't know 
then it meant you take them to the store. I know that that's like the biggest blonde moment I've had of 2020, but I have some. They're currently, I just threw them in my purse, so I will have them the next time I go shopping and I don't have to waste these little baggies. But somebody said they, um, there's like, they like told me, people told me other uses for them, so I'm definitely gonna keep them and recycle and all that good stuff. Moving on, um, this was the only pasta at all that they had, and it was the Bonzo Chickpea pasta with lasagna noodles. I just haven't seen this product specifically. I didn't know they made lasagna noodles. And I have been wanting to make a veggie lasagna with like zucchini noodles, but I feel like this with like layered thin sliced zucchini and just get it like veggied up with some noodles would be so good. So I just picked that up. That'll probably be not this week for sure. I picked up a loaf of bread. They were definitely low on the bread options, but they did have like fresh from the bakery bread. So this is just a sourdough. That is for dinners. I might even do like make a sandwich for lunch one day versus a Lunchable with just like the crackers. I'll do bread instead of crackers. We'll see. Then I picked up a few things. Well, actually let's finish the lunch stuff. Cherry tomatoes, this is for lunch, a few dinners, side salads. And then I also picked up this Hope um, Roasted Red Pepper Hummus. It is, oh, it's dairy free. Interesting. So I've just seen people talk about this brand and I wanted to give it a try. So it's like really bright red. So I'm excited to try this. I'll let you guys know what I think of it. But that I will eat with the pink chips. And then I picked up a few things just to have on hand in case the grocery stores get crazier, which I think in San Antonio, the rumor is things are shutting down. Like things are already shut down a lot of things, but I think it's going to turn into where the whole city is not going into work unless it's like an essential or whatever. So I picked up some mac and cheese. They didn't have any other sort of like other than the few frozen things I picked up, but this was like the only grab and go. And I've never tried the Annie's, I don't think. So I picked up two macaronis, just a white cheddar and a regular cheddar. And then this is the uh, rich and creamy shells with uh, cheddar. So yay for that. And they're organic, which is <laughs> just, just funny. Okay. Then I picked up this chicken. I realized now that I could have made chicken salad with this. Um, but I didn't get the other stuff that I needed for it. So this will be for a few things, but definitely a stir fry that I'm going to make. And then I picked up a couple more freezer meals just to have on hand. I actually don't have any. So normally I like to have a few on hand, but considering the current circumstances of the world, I figured better safe than sorry, pick up a couple. So I did pick up the Amy's country cheddar. I think this is just pasta, potatoes, and broccoli. So I picked up that. And then I picked up a cheese enchilada. I've never tried either of these, so we'll see how that goes. And then I also found their burritos. So I picked up, actually they had only two flavors and they're both my favorite. So the West, the Southwestern and then the non-dairy, just like beans and rice one. Love. And I think that that's all. Yeah, that's everything that I got. So Anyways, I'm going to put this stuff away. We're going to quickly assemble our adult Lunchables. And for breakfast, I think I'm going to make some Kodiak cake because you just have to add water. And I might just go ahead and flip up some pancakes here on the stove. And I'll eat them with either um, a syrup, almond butter. I might add some blueberries. We'll just see where it takes me. So that is... That's the plan, and that's the grocery haul. So let's just jump into cooking. Well, kind of. Then once to show you my intention, my brain gets blocked at times, but now somehow I'll give you my attention. You've got to know that I ain't a person who understands all the clockwork of our romance. You make me feel so alive. If you're gonna be moving on solo, wait a second, cause they're playing the bass. Okay, y'all, so I ended up moving the crackers to just this baggie. Um, I think I remember the last time that I made 
Lunchables, I thought that the crackers got kind of soggy or like just not as fresh the day that I ate them for like the later days of the week, just sitting in here with all of this stuff. So I've got the cheese, the serving size is two slices. So I just cut every flavor in half. So now we've got two slices, as you can see. Um, well, they were long. Do you know what I'm saying? This is two slices. Anyways, two of the turkey that used all of the turkey. Um, got salami, you know the drill, everything is here. With this, I'm gonna go ahead and take the hummus. Um, well, maybe I should divvy the hummus up in here, actually. I might do that, go ahead and just put it down in there. That way I can leave some at home because I do have some extra pita chips left over. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and probably um, make the pancakes really quick because I am ready for dinner. So this is super easy Lunchables. Love these, you can add fruit if you want, literally anything that you like, throw it in a box and call it a Lunchable. Good morning. So it is Tuesday. I did my meal prep on Monday. Um, and I am about to pack my lunchbox. So I pack a lot. Um, these are the pancakes. Mine made five huge ones. It really made six, but I messed up the last one but as you can see i've got like a big old stack of pancakes in there and with that i'm gonna put that on the bottom Ooh, that doesn't really fit let me get a different bag okay so this dish doesn't fit in my lunch box so i'm just gonna put it in this bag um i don't even know what this bag is somebody gave it to me at work anyways Almo, Almo Toyota. Okay. Um, my lunch boxes, I ended up taking out the crackers, like I said, and I did put the hummus in that third little tray. So I've got my little Lunchables right there. On my pancakes, I'm going to have some almond butter. This is just a Trader Joe's one. It's just almonds and salt and a banana. So I'm just going to take two bananas for now. Got my crackers. Gonna take my Siggy's yogurt. It's just two vanilla. Um, we, you know, currently with everything that's going on, San Antonio did um, start the whatever it's called. Hey, get out of here. So they did issue the like basically stay at home unless you're like an essential worker. But construction is considered exempt, and I guess today we're going to find out if our type of construction is exempt. So, we shall see how it moves forward. I am an hourly employee, one of only two of us, so I don't know. This is mango, by the way, for my yogurt, and I already have um, granola at work. So, yay. I'm about to put this in my coffee. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't want to be, I would really like everybody else to be sent home except for me and that one other person. And we could work from the office because we sit very far apart from each other and I would be fine with that. Um, if that means I could still, you know, get paid. I definitely have job security, but it's like uh, what I do, I can't really do it from home. It would just, I mean, I guess I could, but it would just take a lot of like stuff and, um, I don't have a company like laptop because I'm hourly. I don't have to like work from home or whatever. So, um, I don't really know what's going to happen, but we shall see. It will be fine. 
Um, but yeah, that is what I do. So I pack my big old bag, usually just two days of lunch, and then I eat for two days, and then I, like in tomorrow, I guess, after work, I will pack two more. It's kind of how I do it. But that is it. I'm going to grab my stuff and I'm going to head out the door. Thank you so much for watching this meal prep video. Super easy. You can literally add anything to a box and call it a Lunchable. That's what I like to do. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are staying safe and well. Um, definitely staying home if you can. I totally am in the group of people that's like, I wish I could stay home, but I like can't, I, ha I, I haven't been able to do that with my work. So yeah. Um, Stay as safe as you can. Comment down below if you have any questions about meal prep or um, let me know what you meal prepped. What were you able to find at the grocery store? I would love to know. I will see y'all in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, bye y'all.